The committee! Scummerset West, West actually turns out they're not so scummy. <laughs> they're actually quite lovely. But I was blown away by how busy it is now compared to when we were at Stellenbosch. The only but, thing I remember from the mall is that Stellenbosch we used to go for those like 70% of YDE sales. We used to go queue at like 3 in the morning. There? Yeah. Oh fuck, I love me. Bro, I used to go every end of range. 70% of kids at like 3, 4 in the morning and queue, dude. And get some leather jacket. Bro, I used to get like things for like 50 bucks, 100 bucks. We're actually having a meeting with the new uh, boutique retail shop opening up in the main road on the high streets of Somerset West. It just felt right because they'd approached us from our aesthetic point of view and once we saw theirs we knew we had to take the drive out to go yeah. with them and sit with them. One of the better retail spaces I've ever seen like and it's still raw bones. So it's a gelato, coffee store, clothing, very curated so it's nice to be part of that decision. Florist inside, Florist and co-working working space. space. They are going to be having sustainable textiles. It'd be awesome to have a members meet up there, bro. Gelato and coffee and stuff. Something we can use as a, not as an upsell, but just as a value add in terms of having our brand there. So yeah. Simon said, West, keep an eye out. Patrick James is coming in hot. But I must say, it feels like a Friday today with the amount of shit we've got done in the last 48 hours. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. And tomorrow is still long roads to go, you know, explore even more. Oh, uh, yes, we're exploring. Uh, Another, bo another boutique up in Paternoster that has a very, very curated um, lifestyle clothing offering. And they've also approached us to come and have some clothes stuff there. Yeah, in the tourist hub of Paternoster. Cambridge Wharf, I think it's called. Definitely check that out because not a lot of people get opportunity to do that. Yeah. So. Guys, can see the sample of our new shirts hanging in the back. Woo! My God, what a piece! Oh, sure you've, you've seen too much. Yeah, off to the embroider now to pick up the embroidery sample. That embroidery is like it's insane, dude. I want to see it with my own eyes, please. Yeah, it's what's showing up for you today, bro. Outside of all this stuff, share some wisdom. Yeah, drop a couple bucks. I'm feeling uh, quite stiff in the spine. I'm getting too big yeah. and too buff. And true ripped. <laughs> I do have a little bit of body stiffness, but I don't think it's anything emotional. From you think twisting the spine a bit much in, in your yoga routine? Uh, yeah, definitely. Take the massage gun, bro. Uh, and just, just, hold, just magnesium before I go to bed. Other than that, no, I was just excited for this little trip out and see what it brings. What, what happened, Andy? We've got a cracking week of meetings. We've got like, this one today, we've got uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Then we have the meeting with tomorrow's um, Paternosta, and then Thursday is the chat with the guys from Gong. You know, there is a new online retail marketplace. marketplace, is the correct word I'm looking for, nice. opening up that and supporting local designers. They reached out to us again about potentially being involved. Comme de garçon. Comme de garçon. And we have something cool. Possibly, not possibly, it will happen, but we don't have all the details yet for next year. Mr. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've actually got, I totally forgot about that, bro. Make cool stuff next year with someone that has a really cool presence in South African music. Yeah, he's taken a, a podcast series of his to another level as well. So he's attracted to our brand and we'll see what we can do actually in the clothing realm and the music <laughs> realm of South Africa. He's lekker. It's kakra, that's right. Yeah, the, 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 the seed is planted. Plant them now. We'll see the plant yeah. now. 
more fruits you can bear later. <laughs> so basically what we're saying is that we're already driving um, retail for Panther Gems in the next six months to, to 12 months, both locally and internationally. We've been approached by an advisory firm in the UK and in the, U and in the US. Yeah. It's, it's, it's beautiful how it's um, how the wheel of life turns, you know. Sometimes, so it's, sometimes you have to go out and do the work, and sometimes the work, you know, the the connections come to you. It's beautiful yeah. how how we are seeing both sides of yeah. that point. You know? yeah. I guess it comes down to the hard work, you know. The but there can be weeks that go by where we just do the work, just do the work, and people get oh, fuck, is anything ever going to um, come of this? And then they do. I personally think that that our idea of our own fashion show with with, with our own production, the own yeah. production, and the right people there can get you just as much reach. Cool, should we stop this? That was yeah. great.